Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to look at using the grandmother to achieve analog two operator FM synthesis. Typically, when approaching FM synthesis, you want to use sine waves as your sound source. So because the oscillator section doesn't offer sine waves, we're instead going to look at using the filter and the modulation oscillator to achieve this effect. To begin, let's set up the filter to be used as an oscillator. And to do this, we're going to turn the resonance knob all the way up, and we're going to turn the keyboard tracking switch to one to one. Next, let's patch the output from the filter section to the noise in on the mixer. And we're also going to patch the output from the mixer to the VCA in in the output section. Lastly, let's patch a dummy cable to the input on the filter. And by that, I mean a cable with nothing plugged into the other side. What this is going to do is cancel the normalization from the output of the mixer to the input of the filter so that we don't have to worry about any phase issues with this patching. Next, let's tune the oscillator. And to do this, we're going to set the VCA mode to drone. And we're going to gently turn up oscillator one in the mixer section until we can hear it. Now we're going to turn up the noise knob, which is going to be our filter. And as you can hear, the two are playing different notes. So I'm going to adjust the cutoff knob in the filter section to be able to tune the filter to a unison with the oscillator. You want to look for a point with little to no beating between the filter and the oscillator. So this sounds good to me. And now that it's set up to be used as an oscillator, we can flip the VCA mode back to envelope. And now you can hear the filter tracking the keyboard correctly. So now let's set up the modulation oscillator to act as the FM source for the filter. And to do this, we're going to turn the rate knob all the way up until the LED below the rate stops blinking and just becomes solid. This lets us know that the modulation oscillator is now working at audio rate. Next, we want to take the keyboard output in the ARP sequencer section and patch it to the rate in in the modulation oscillator. What this is going to do is make the modulation oscillator also track the keyboard similar to the filter, so the two will be moving in parallel. Now we want to turn up the cutoff amount knob in the modulation section all the way up, and we'll be able to use the mod wheel to now play with the depth of our FM occurring. So let's listen to how that sounds. So as you can hear, this gives us this interesting metallic tone. And the next thing to try to adjust is the rate of the modulation oscillator so that we can adjust the ratio occurring between the filter and the modulation oscillator. So let's listen to how that sounds as I adjust the rate knob while playing a few keys. As you can hear, this opens up a whole new palette of sounds that you don't typically hear from the grandmother. So next, I'm going to play a little sequence from the sequencer, and let's listen to all the FM timbres that we can achieve as I play with the settings. As you can hear, playing with FM synthesis opens up a whole new range of timbres to explore on the grandmother. 